Today, today we're making eggnog. Because we just never do that on the show, and it's about time we do that on the show. It's tasty. Maybe. Maybe. Welcome to Comic Cocktails. Derek, Dan, and Ian are gonna make you a drink that we call um, eggnog, or eggnog. classy eggnog, or uh, eggnog, eggnog for adults. For, eggnog for one. Eggnog for one. Yeah. Eggnog for one adult. One adult. Because this one has booze. I have never done a, just an eggnog cocktail, so we're gonna do two of them this year before the end of before Christmas, because people are gonna be searching for them. Eggnog's they, good. They need to find them. Eggnog's awesome. I yeah. know. It's I Christmas always buy just store bought eggnog. Because uh, what's wrong. wrong with you? Can, can, when you see next video and we're fucking splitting egg whites and shit, and oh, I made it. It's not that bad. Sugars it's and... not that bad. I've made it. It's so many new words <laughs> I don't use. Folding, folding, folding sugar. It's not bad. It's he's like you gotta. So much he's like I you gotta mix it. Hot. You gotta fold yeah. it. We'll see how this one. It's too thick. So we're gonna use one whole egg. We are. Oh yeah, you want the recipe? Yeah. One half ounce of brandy. One ounce of dark rum. Two ounces of heavy cream. Three quarter ounces of honey syrup that Ian just made. And then we're going to grate some nutmeg and cinnamon on top. Because that's what you just do. And you got to put it in a low ball glass yeah. or whatever glass you feel like. Um, chill it because this doesn't have ice, I don't think. No, because you're going to dry shake it. Yeah, and then you're going to shake it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then you pour it in the chilled glass. So for this drink, the technique's all about the shake because it's eggnog. And the beauty is, since you're not splitting the egg whites... Throw it all in there. Not no shell. No well, shell. Well, at least you get it all in there. You yeah. don't have to like split it, figure out what you're gonna do with the yolk. That's done. Throw it in there, and you're done. So well, then, like that, you gotta do it for a good 15 seconds. 15 second aggressive well, at least, shake. Yeah. At least something like this you gotta break up that yolk, get it all incorporated because yeah. you don't want any uh, stringy egg parts. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds tasty. Because that'll be that'll be awesome when you're taking a sip and it's just hanging from your lower <laughs> left. Like like at that Christmas hairy. party and you're just like, hey. <laughs> That's why we're gonna have Ian shake it. I'm gonna work up a sweat because, here. Yeah. <laughs> so. Thank this, God it's not me. What what Ian's basically doing is gonna emulsify the egg, the egg white, all the protein into the drink, which is gonna create a nice foamy head on top of the fact that it is integrating the drink together. You do that first, then you add ice. The reason is chill and ice and all that breaks a lot of the bubbles and it, it just slows down emulsification. You could add one little ice piece in there if you want to, to kind of like get the seal. Well, you could use a, a shaker ball, like from the shakers. Oh, yeah. yeah. Those, those are good for dry shaking. But yeah. the thing you really got to do is create a lot of pressure, because with no ice, the it metal doesn't, doesn't seal. Yeah. yeah. So when you add and ice... And it'll explode on you. Yeah. Right. And when get you, all over the place. When you add ice to Literally a cocktail shaker, yes. it creates that seal because the air changes temperature and it basically creates a vacuum locking it together. Without that, you end up with egg on your face. If you, you want to shake after, though, it sounds yeah. right. Wet shake, yeah. yeah. Add ice. Shake it up. Oh, I'm trying to ice on it. And all we're doing here is trying to keep the glass nice and cold, because the last thing you want is a fairly cold eggnog beverage in a warm glass, which is going to make it warm. Hmm. I think it looks pretty good. I mean, this so. isn't that bad. It's, it's pretty, pretty easy for, like, an egg. Like, if you a really want drink. an eggnog. Yeah, it's actually home, easier than a whiskey sour, because you're not splitting the egg. Yeah. The honey syrup's easy too. Just <laughs> half and half. Yeah. The honey syrup's easy unless you yeah. watch Ian do it and then you'll like, he's so meticulous. Yeah, it'll be fine. So just if for honey syrup, you have two options. You can go to austerix.com and buy honey syrup. Looks like which Or pork. you can add honey and water yeah, together like until it thins mm. out and then you've got yourself the honey syrup you need. It's just thin honey. So that it's workable. Grate it. I, I have a very large grater, so what it does is creates a mess all over the place, but that's cool because that's what we do here. Yeah, I mean... We're messes. If you're more professional, you can get a little grater. It'll be all good. <laughs> you had a little grater. I, Ian lost it. He's got a little I, grater. Yeah, I probably lost it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, you got that one. <laughs> that wasn't very nice. It was kind of awkwardly silent. We gotta right. like just work through that. So there you go, that's the eggnog. Classic eggnog for one person. Three people are gonna drink it. Try it. Four or five. You want me to try it first? Yes. <sighs> smells like, smells like Christmas. So you like eggnog? <laughs> okay. Well, some people don't like eggnog. No, yeah. Oh, well, that's how grandma used to make it. Holy crap. Strong? Yeah. Well, for me. Although we haven't had really anything else for cocktail string. It's not too strong. 
I can. You know taste what? I've rum. never had one with honey. I like the rum it's taste in it. It's not bad. It's not sweet. You no, can just not. taste. Um, it's just a lot. This alcohol kind of balances it out. The burn is weird on that because it's not. It's like it all in the back of the throat. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't even get a burn. I didn't either. Yeah. You it's sure you're not, your not a burn? Working? Just the the alcohol. Mm. Whatever. I think your throat's fucking broken. Could be. No. <laughs> if you take like a big step. You had a nutmeg, right? Yes. Yeah. I got a little tongue tongue numbing. Oh look, it's a it's a you know that time again, folks. Oof. It's the slappies. Slappies. The only thing it kind of has like a it leaves like a chalky. Is that that's probably from the nutmeg, right? Yeah. Kind of floating on top. That's I can bad. get it. The, that's easy. That's that's a yeah, really that's easy. That's easy. It's and it tastes like an eggnog. The honey I could probably yeah, leave. I don't, I don't know that it adds too much. To no. The amount of work you add. Yeah. I'm not sure what the honey. Must from eggnogs that I've had, it doesn't like. Hasn't been honey. -ish. So no sugar, no nothing. Hasn't been honeyish. Yeah, it's not honeyish. It's. No. Hmm. Doesn't have a lot of honey, but the I mean these guys really pop out. So I, I'm I'm hmm. tasting this, the rum. I mean this taste. Yeah, you can taste the rum. The rum sense definitely comes. Is yeah. Really full. So whatever you're using for a dark rum, is and this out. is gonna be your drink. I I wouldn't yeah. go with Myers's personally because it's just so aggressive. It's right. like it's like the eggnog that wants to punch you in the nuts. I don't know if I yeah. want to. Go I just ahead. say Myers because that's what I grew up on with eggnog. Oh yeah. So right. yeah, I guess if, if that's what you're used, used to. to yeah. yeah. This is this is a drink for the holidays. So if you are used to a specific eggnog that makes you feel comfortable and at home, then you use whatever. Maybe spice drum would be good. Some kind of spice I've always yeah, I use the yeah. brandy or Captain Morgan or something. Like that. If you like the dark, you could go Kraken, which would be interesting. But... That would be interesting. <laughs> Kraken. <laughs> that would probably be really. But I think cool. spice would be good in an eggnog mm. anyway. That's fine because the next one's gonna have spice. Perfect. Ha <laughs> uh, ha! Question of the day: What's your favorite holiday drink when you're uh, hanging out with friends or family or whatever you do for the holidays? Some people don't like their family, so they go to other places. Um, but you drink anyway, so. Yeah, and and if you want to get honey syrup already made, you can go to ostrichs.com and buy that. You can use coupon code Winter18, save 18 percent off until the end of January. That's my pitch to you. Don't forget to like and subscribe this video. Like and subscribe this. Yes. Like this video and subscribe to the show. Um, this drink, because it's classic and I think it, it qualifies as something that should go in our recipe database, I'll put it on recipe.awesomedrinks.com. So that you have it at That's your right. fingertips. You and it's in the links below. Anyway. Um, do we have anything else to say? Did I say the executive producer is Manfred? I didn't say that. Manfred you did. came up earlier. Uh, a new Patreon subscriber, I believe. My Patreon thing's all fucked up. Oh, as of April. So whatever. That seems new to me. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> and you did the coupon code? Uh, uh, Jump card! Yes! Yeah, did, okay. you, did you watch my highlight video? You probably wouldn't. Did you watch my highlight video? You don't use Facebook. I, I You're not on, on Instagram. Instagram. I saw it on yeah, Instagram. I put it in pieces on Instagram. Yeah. Uh, the yeah. full thing will be out on YouTube. It's on Facebook right now. If you want to go to facebook.com slash cocktail TV and watch. It's kind of long. Like eight minutes of the entire year. Of some funny things, though. It's all funny. Oh, and you sent me with that fucking towel. No, 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 no. I, I do that a lot. Yeah, I'm not, I'm <laughs> you, get to see, to not do that so much. <laughs> <laughs> you get to see Dan fall down to the ground like this. It was fucking awesome. Um, outside of that, there's a sidebar over there for more videos, all holiday type treats. Down below is a boss. There's the boss shaker and the rest of the cocktail kit, bartender shakers for uh, what is it? Awesomedrinks.com for the holidays or after, because I don't know when you're gonna shop. That's it. Do it. Teach you how to drink. <laughs>